back to another video. So as you can tell by the title, we're gonna be doing a little room makeover. I haven't redone my room in kind of a while. I think the last time was like during COVID. Some of you guys might have found my channel through my previous room makeovers, but I decided it's time for a little room refresh. We're gonna be painting my room, probably do some shopping and just adding like new little decor to my room to just spice it up. Like I really need a change in here. I'm most excited to repaint my room because my walls need to be redone. Like I haven't repainted in a really long time. So there's a bunch of like scuffs and holes. Sometimes it's really hard for my room to get light throughout the day. So I feel like having like these dark gray walls kind of make my room feel more darker and like sad. Today's focus is going to be my walls and we're gonna try and get them done today or at least get it started today because it's probably gonna be a lot of work, unfortunately. So step one, we're gonna be patching up and repainting my walls. I have a bunch of holes in my walls and scuffs and everything just from like past wall decor and just from like bumping things into the wall. I actually already went paint shopping with my mom and I really wanted like a nice white color in here. I didn't know how many different shades of white there were to choose from and me and my mom were just like going back and forth for days. We finally decided on the polar white color from Falspar. I don't know if one's gonna be enough so I might actually have to get another can. Before I start with the walls, I'm gonna give you guys a little overview of my room even though you guys probably already know what it looks like. This is how it looks. A lot of you guys have already seen it many times. And I've actually already been working on my walls for the past couple days because when I took off my LED lights a really long time ago, it left a whole like sticky residue of like the LED tape all around the perimeter of my room. And I just left it there because I was lazy and didn't know how to take it off. So I had to take Goo Gone and spread it all around the top of my walls and like pry off the LED glue. So it took me a couple days, but it's finally all clean now. But as you guys can see, I have some like damage to my wall that I just need to fix. Like hopefully I can just backle this and like sand it down and then I have holes here. I have nails up there from like when I had a tapestry and I have just like little dents and scuffs. So we're gonna be dealing with that today and then I also need to take off everything from my walls. Like I need to take off these lights. I've had these for so long but I'm just kind of over it and they need to go. I'm also gonna be taking off this whole shelf. I'm also over this. I don't really like how it looks anymore. Like I just feel like it's too big. So I'm gonna be taking that off and patching up the holes from that. And then I think I'm also gonna take off this stuff from the ceiling up there. So that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm actually really excited to get this done because I really just wanna have like nice, fresh, clean white walls. I also need to take these off. I think I did that when I was like in middle school. So I was just being a little DIY queen and I like Mod Podge glitter all over this. So I already bought a new one but I need to like take these off because I did it to this one and my other one over there. So they just need to go. But anyways, that's what I'm gonna do first. I'm gonna take everything off my walls then just start spackling all of that. taking everything off my walls. But this is the aftermath of taking out that floating shelf. I also have holes here, holes all over there. So I'm just gonna go in with this kit and spackle all the holes. Date. I just finished spackling and I moved all the furniture in my room to the middle. This is how everything's looking. I needed to put all this stuff in the middle obviously so that I don't get paint all over it. And then my dad helped me take off my TV and I'm gonna take this little sandpaper and sand all of this down. I literally hate, ooh, I hate sandpaper. It's literally giving me goosebumps. Okay, I'm gonna go do this and then hopefully this won't take me too long and then I could start painting. I'm gonna take a little spackling break for two reasons. 
One, I physically cannot do this anymore. Like, I just need a break from doing it. And two, I need to go to Lowe's. I didn't realize that I should be using paint primer because the paint I bought is already like mixed with primer, but my dad said I should also use like a different paint primer before. So I need to run to Lowe's to get that real quick. So I'm just gonna take a break from all this sanding. And then hopefully when I get back, everything is dry. And then my arms will be rested enough to keep sanding down. I've kind of finished that whole side, but I still have a bunch over here and the rest of the walls too. I think I may have underestimated the time it takes to actually like prep walls to paint. But anyways, I'm gonna go run to the store and get the paint primer and then I might even get like a sanding block because my hands are cramping up from using that little sheet of sandpaper. So it's the next day. It's day two of my room makeover. Now we're actually gonna get to painting today. I'm gonna be honest, I gave up yesterday after prepping my walls. It was too much. I was just over it and the walls were making me mad. But I did end up going to Lowe's and getting the primer and the rest of the stuff that I need. So I have all my painting stuff and I put back on the shirt that I wore yesterday because I need to wear something I really don't care about ruining if I get paint on it. I'm kind of nervous because I have never painted by myself and I just like want to get it over with. Yesterday at Lowe's I bought this edge painter so I'm going to use this first and go along the edges of my walls with the primer. I'm going to start off with these two walls. discovered I'm not a painter. This is making me so mad. It's been a couple hours later and I've only finished this wall and this wall with one layer of primer. So it took like a little hour break because I was fed up. This is how it's looking. Very patchy, very uneven. So I'm not gonna lie, I am a little bit concerned about that, but this is only one layer of primer and I think it's supposed to look like this, honestly. It's taking me forever. I'm really putting my back and arms into this. I feel like I'm getting a second workout in today, like I'm dead. But I'm determined to at least finish all four walls with primer. I don't know if we're gonna get to actually like painting the main color on there, but we will see because it's already like 5 p.m. Now I think I'm gonna work on this wall right here, like this little skinny area, and I need to take off this sparkly light switch. Oh my gosh, I'm such an electrician. <laughs> My walls are officially all finished. I'll give you guys a little overview. Here's how the paint color looks. I am obsessed with it. It's like the perfect warm toned white shade. I love it so much. I feel like it brings so much more light into my room rather than like having that dark gray color. Um, I also pushed all the furniture back to place. I washed my sheets and everything. I'm not gonna change anything about my bed or like my furniture. Everything is still relatively new. Like I got this stuff a couple years ago and still really love all the furniture I have in my room, but I moved it back into place. I also decided not to rearrange my room because I've pretty much done already like all the rearrangements I could in here and I feel like this setup is the best way just to have it all nice and open so I decided to just leave my room placement like the same that it was before and I just love how it all looks together like it looks so fresh and bright in here. The whole painting process kind of took a while because honestly I wasn't very good at it. My dad ended up having to like finish it for me because I was just going so slow but it's all finished thanks to my dad. We only painted the walls but eventually I'm probably gonna have to go over the ceiling and then like the trimming of the walls and maybe even my doors. But for this video, all I'm doing is the walls because I don't want to do any more painting. And then we also switched out my old light cover thing. I got these ones from Lowe's. I think it matches perfectly. And then I also have the same one on my closet light. The next thing we have to do is decorate everything. I kind of took away pretty much like all of my old decor right now. So I have like a nice white canvas it feels like to like put all my new decorations out. I already went ahead and bought like all of my decorations for my room. I 
didn't really film much of it because I've been like slowly collecting all this stuff for the past couple months. But I am going to give you guys a haul of everything that I got and tell you guys where everything is from. Anything that I bought from Amazon is going to be linked in my storefront. And then I also just recently created my own LTK account. And some of the stuff is also probably going to be linked on there. So make sure you guys also follow me on there. I'll have it linked in my description. First I got these two little lamps. Like these little desk lamps. I've seen these all over Pinterest and I thought they were so cute. I've mainly seen this pattern all over Pinterest. Um, I'm pretty sure these are sold also on Urban Outfitters website. Found these ones at Marshalls and they just light up like this. I don't have any batteries in it right now so I'm just using like the little tester thing. But I got this one with the stripes and then I also got this little one. I don't really know what to call this pattern but I thought it was really cute. I originally saw this one but I wanted this one so I settled for this one. But then later I went back to Marshalls and I found this one. But now I feel like I like this one more anyways so now I have two. But we're gonna try and find a place for both of those. And then from Ikea I bought this lamp. These are like the little circular bulb lamps. It's supposed to be really cute for ambiance lighting. I saw it on TikTok that it was the cutest thing so I just ordered it online because I want to have some like warm and like pretty lighting in my room. To go with that I got this light bulb. This is the Jovi Bluetooth LED bulb. This is supposed to be like a dupe for the Philips Hue light bulb. I want to put this in the little Ikea lamp and you can control it with your phone. I got this from Amazon and then I also bought the same brand in strip lights and you can also control these through your phone so these are both like the dupes for the Philips Hue lighting if you guys want a cheaper alternative you can look into that because I saw a lot of people saying good things about this and saying that this was a dupe for that also I plan on putting this like behind either my TV or my dresser and then these are kind of random but I got these wire covers table covers just so my walls look more seamless um, I also got this from Amazon and then next I got this perfume tray I think it's so pretty it has gold detailing and then like a mirrored bottom I got this from Amazon. The next I got these white curtains. These are just like basic curtains with like a little bit of sheerness to them because I kind of want like the sunlight to be able to peek through them because I do have blinds so I don't need like solid white curtains. I did get white again because I want my room to like look bright and clean. And I also got these in 90 inches. I think my last curtains were like 84 inches but I'm thinking about raising my curtain rods because when you do that it makes your room like look taller. I don't know when I'm going to do that. I wanted to do that for this video but I think that'll have to wait. And then and I did thrift a couple things. So I got this cute little candle holder. I think it's so adorable. It has hearts around the sides, but I do need to get like a mini candle for it. I actually completely forgot about that, but I thought it was so cute. Literally only 99 cents. And I really wanted to find some like cute little gold ring trays. So I found these like little gold dishes with gold rims. I thought these were so cute for like some jewelry holders or like ring holders for my vanity. And these were also only 99 cents. And then I found this like tray thing and i'm going with like a gold theme so this doesn't really match but i love the detail around it i was thinking about spray painting it gold but i don't really know because i already have these so if you want to find like little stuff like this like little trays and like candlestick holders goodwill or any thrift shop has so many of them um so i got this really cute little crystal one and then next i found this really cute little candle holder it's gold and it's like brand new. I just thought this would be so cute. I'm lighting a candle. It has like all this like gold detailing on the sides. So I love that. I feel like I found so many cute little things from Goodwill. And then from Michael's I got another candlestick holder. This one's kind of like a amberish color. I don't really know how to describe this. It's clear but it has like a little color to it. Michael's actually has really cute little room decor. I did not know that. So I thought it was so like random. I was like shopping there for something else and then I saw all of her decorations and thought this was really cute. So I got this one. Um, actually just kidding guys. This is from Marshalls. I could have sworn I got this from Michaels, but I guess not. But regardless, Michaels had like the same ones as these. I just got a little confused there for a sec. These next things are actually from Michaels. I found these candlesticks. I think they're so pretty. I have to cut them apart, but these are like little white spirally ones. And then these ones are just pink and straight. And I just thought these looked so good together. I thought they were so cute. And then for Michaels again, I got this picture frame. I don't know if I'm going to replace the picture, but I just thought the little gold detailings were really pretty and I might just leave the picture in there. I don't really know yet. And if you guys can tell already, I'm going for more of like a gold theme. I don't really know what theme to even call this because some of it is like vintage. Some of it is kind of coquette and then some of the stuff is also like modern. So I don't really know, but I got a bunch of gold frames because I'm thinking of doing like a little mini gallery wall and I went a bit crazy because I bought so many. I'm going to try and show you guys all the frames I got. So these three right here are all from Walmart. They're just gold and then these two have like the same 
same detailing on the sides and then this one is just plain then i got another one from walmart this one's a bigger size but it has the same gold detailing on the sides and then i found this really cute one at marshall's like i think it's so pretty it's supposed to look vintage which i love and then these next three are all from home goods so this one has like a different shape to it and then there's this one and this one i also really love i think it's so pretty and then these last frames are all thrifted so i found this like gold circular frame and i really like the picture on the inside i thought it was so cute the frame does have like some discoloring to it but i'm just gonna leave it it's supposed to look vintage anyways and then i also got this frame but i actually don't think i'm gonna be using it because it's like i feel like it'll like just fall off my wall easily so we'll see if i end up using it but i don't think i will then i also found this one this kind of looks very like old lady like i feel like but i have a vision and hopefully it turns out good so we'll see but i think it's really pretty it has like a nice gold frame picture of a flower i just wish it had more color to the flower so i was even thinking of like putting some like watercolor reddish pink to it i don't really know yet but we will see um and then and then to go into those frames i ordered a bunch of pictures from cvs i'll show you guys more of this when we actually get into like hanging the frames and then to hang those i'm gonna be using these command strips i'm like very nervous for this because they're just like the velcro ones but it says that i can hold up to 16 pounds let's hope that these work because i really don't want to make any more holes in my wall after like what i just had to endure of like fixing all of it hopefully those work and this is kind of random but i bought mod podge for the picture because i saw this hack that if you paint this stuff over it it makes it look like it's actual art pieces i don't know if i'm actually gonna do it but but I bought it just in case I want to like add that later on and then this is the last thing I got for my room I'll just show you guys this side because it's kind of heavy. I got this mirror from Marshalls I was actually really lucky to find this. This is gonna be my new little vanity mirror I really love like the gold on it and then the detailing of this like matches the whole theme that I'm trying to go for So I'll be putting that over my vanity and then I also bought these like little fake flowers from Michaels too I just thought it was really pretty. So that is everything that I've got for my room. I'm so excited to actually actually finally put my room together and make it all complete with all this decorations so i'm gonna go ahead and start decorating my room and putting things out where i feel like it'll look best at and i'm indecisive so let's hope this doesn't take too long <music> This is how I think I want to put the frames together on this wall, but I am actually terrified. Like I'm scared that this won't look good on here. And I'm also scared that the centering is going to be off, but for sure I like the layout of these frames. I got all of these cute pictures from Etsy. Like I ordered a whole package and then downloaded the ones that I wanted and printed it. I have a bunch of landscapes and like flowers and just artwork that I think is pretty.
so it's the next day i finished my room last night i ended up taking like literally all day to finish my room so i wanted to wait till like the lighting was good in here to show you guys the final result i am so happy with how my room came out so let me do a little overview this is how it looks I'm gonna start over here and then just make my way around the room. This is how my little gallery wall turned out. I'm so happy with it. This took literal hours. Like it took me so long to get it right because I was overthinking so much. I ended up using those Velcro command strips to hold them up. They hold up to 16 pounds. So I was able to put them around all of the small frames. But for this one, I actually did have to make like a small hole in my wall. I think I decided that I do want to take out the glass and all of them and try and do the like Mod Podge trick to see if it actually looks like artwork i just feel like that would look better because i don't really like seeing all the glare on the photos at first i didn't know if i was actually going to end up using this like frame that i thrifted but i think it all came out good together and then i didn't change anything about my bed over here it's because i really like the sheets and everything that i already have i think i might add in like maybe like a neutral like beige color somewhere because i feel like it would match more with the frames next to it so my mom was telling me that i should probably add like a beige knitted blanket or something or some like beige throw pillows so I might end up doing that later on and then my lamp over there I think I'm also gonna spray paint or just like change the color because the silver does not match with the frames or like anything else in my room really so I might just paint this black because then it'll match my other lamp but this is how this section looks I think it looks so cute I'm obsessed with my wall um, I decided to keep this whole wall right here plain because this already has kind of like a lot going on. And then over here on my nightstand section, I just have journals that I usually write in. And then I put the other lamp that I have here. I literally love this lamp so much already. I had this on last night and the way that it lights up is just so pretty. Like it looks better at night, but like just the way it reflects off the like painted pieces. And then I have these two candles next to the lamp. This one I got from Etsy a really long time ago. And then this one I think is from Target. And then I also have some like random coasters here because I always have like my iced coffee or like cold water on this area so that's what i have here it does look a little bit plain so i'm thinking of adding like a fake plant or like another picture frame of like me and andrew or something because i originally had like a gold picture frame that i wanted to put a picture of me and him like right here but i ended up using the frame in the wall art and then here's my little vanity setup i love it so much I put the mirror here i decided to like lean it against the wall instead of hanging it i really don't want to make any more holes and then i set up my perfume tray here and i put all of my favorite go-to perfumes i think it looks so cute and then to the right of that i have the little like gold and white dish that i thrifted and i just put my favorite rings in there and then behind it i put this like little tea set thing like originally it's supposed to hold sugar this was actually my mom's and she said i could take it because it matches perfectly with this and i'm just gonna fill it with like cotton balls and q-tips i just think it looks really cute so i put that there and then to the right side here i just have that little like rose frame i don't really know if i like the picture still so maybe i'll just put a picture of me and andrew in there i'm not really sure how i feel about it so i might end up changing it but for now i'm just gonna leave it like that and then behind it i put one of the candle holders with the candlestick and then next to that i put the white little like fake bouquet in this gold vase this also i found around my house that we just had and i thought it matched perfectly it's like this crystal vase with gold on it and i added some more like little fake filler things that my mom just had and then next to my vanity i have my like cart full of like products and stuff i eventually want to do like a little vanity reorganization and like makeover video so i didn't really focus on organizing this stuff too much but i think i definitely want to do like a nice little vanity organization and like organize all these drawers and art over there because i just have like so many products everywhere so that's what i have over here and then i put my curtains up and i think they look so good like this is exactly the kind of curtains that i was looking for they're like the perfect amount of sheerness since my mirror is in the center of this i moved all of the curtains to one side i just like didn't want my mirror to like tug down on the curtains but i feel like it looks pretty like that and they're actually like really good quality so i really love these curtains they are a little bit long because i ordered them longer than my last one so that i can raise these curtain rods so i probably will be doing that eventually it's like a bunch of little things that i need to do that i just did not feel like doing right now and then over here is my little like tv section area on top of my dresser i just put like a bunch of random decor so i have some of my books here and then i put the other lamp that i got from marshall's on top and then next to it i put a little like candle holder
dumpster I really need to buy like the small little candles to place in it and then behind that I have this like little glass jar thing it's from the Dollar Tree I got this so long ago but I think it looks so cute here and then I put the pink candlestick in the crystal candle holder and then to the right of that I just have the gold candle holder and I have this pink petal tea cake candle it smells so good and the pink matches my room and then I ended up just putting the Ikea lamp on top of my PlayStation eventually I really want to get like one of those like sticker wraps to like put on your PlayStation I want to get like a white or beige one I feel like that would just like make it look cuter and make it like blend in more with all this stuff so I'm definitely gonna get one of those and I am obsessed with this bulb lamp thing I don't even know what to call it because it's like a lamp but it's like literally a globe so I keep calling it all these different random names but I'm gonna turn it on to show you guys it probably won't like give the full effect because it's light outside but I'm able to control it with the app which is so cool the app has like all these different colors and you can change it to all the different shades that you want and I put it to like this peachy color and it looks so pretty at night I am obsessed with this I'm probably gonna have on like every night now and I'm so happy I went with this like brand for the bulbs from Amazon don't even bother with the Philips because this is probably just as good as that and it was only like maybe $20 or less and I think it looks so pretty I also put the LED strips behind my TV and like made the colors match and it's just not giving the full effect because it's light out but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like at night because I'm so obsessed with it so I just turn it on but you can't really tell because the light outside is like not making it pop but it looks so pretty like I can't get over it. So you can change it to literally any shade that you want. And I think the lights change like to your Bluetooth. Like if you have music playing, it changes to the beat of the song. I haven't tried that out yet, but I think that's one of the features for the LED strips. And you can also like change each segment of the strips. Like this side could be like one color and then like down here could be another color. So you can literally like, make it ombre or like as many colors as you want. And then I put all the cords like in the cable cover. But honestly, the cable cover doesn't really match my walls because it's more of like a pure white instead of like a creamy white maybe i should like paint over it with the pink color because maybe it was just like blend in better but i think it's better than just having like cords hanging around you know also my mom told me that she thinks it looks like a tripod so that's great and then over here i just have some random stuff so this little like drawer unit i got from aldi like this was literally an aldi find when i was in college and i still like having it around it's like a nice pretty beige color and it holds some of my stuff so i kept that there and then on top of that i have my cute little graduation pop Funko from Andrew and then Valentine's Day he also made me like this bouquet of roses out of like pipe cleaners so I wanted to have that out because they're so cute so that is how my room looks. That's a completed room makeover. I'm actually really obsessed with my room. I'm really happy that I did all these changes. Most importantly, the wall color. I just feel like having it like a nice bright color makes such a huge difference. There are some little things I still need to do that I already said, like I need to paint that silver lamp. I'm also thinking about like painting the silver knobs on my dresser. And then I also have to like raise my curtains, like a little stuff like that. But for now, I'm really happy with how everything looks. Comment down below what you think of my room. I really want to know your opinions or if you guys have any other like decorating suggestions but my makeover is all complete so i'm gonna end this video here remember to check out my amazon storefront and my ltk i'm gonna have all my stuff linked but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this room makeover and i will catch you all in the next video